area review. What we're going to look at today is how to calculate the area of a 2D shape and what we use is the following formulas. So for a square we have the formula A equals F squared, for a rectangle we have A equals L times B, for a triangle we have A equals a half B times H, for a trapezium we have A equals H over 2 bracket A plus B, for a parallelogram we have A equals BH, for a rhombus and kite we have the same formula A equals a half X times y. For a circle we have the formula a equals pi r squared. For a semicircle we have the formula a equals a half pi r squared. And for a sector we have a equals theta over 360 times pi r squared. Now let's look into each of these formulas and do an example on each of, each of these shapes um, in the following slides. So for area of a square we use the formula a equals f squared where s stands for the side length of the square. So for our example, our first step is to write out our formula A equals S squared. We then have our side length of 4 centimetres, so we substitute this in to get A equals 4 squared. We put 4 squared into our calculator to get an answer of A equals 16 centimetres squared. Now it's important to include our units, and for area, our units are always squared. For the area of a rectangle, we use the formula A equals LB, where L equals the length and B equals the base or the breadth. So for our example, we write out our formula A equals LB. We substitute in our length of 16 and our breadth of 9. So 16 times 9 into our calculator is 144 centimetres squared. For the area of a triangle, we use the formula A equals a half BH. This is where H equals height and B equals the base. So for our example, we write out our formula A equals a half BH, and then we substitute in our base length of 7 and our height of 18 to get A equals a half times 7 times 18. We then put this into our calculator to get our area equals 63 centimetres squared. For a trapezium, to find the area, we use the formula A equals H on 2 bracket A plus B. This is where H equals the height of the trapezium, A equals the top length, and B equals the base length. So for our example here, we write out our formula A equals H over 2 bracket A plus B, and then we substitute in our values. So in this example, we have our height is 9 centimetres, our top length A is 12 centimetres, and our base length B is 25 centimetres. So we get A equals 9 on 2 times 12 plus 25. We put this into our calculator to get that our area of our trapezium is 166.5 centimetres squared. To find the area of a parallelogram, we use the formula A equals BH. This is where H is the perpendicular height and B is the base length. So we write out our formula A equals BH. We substitute in our values. So our base is 20 and our height is 12. So A equals 20 times 12. We put that into our calculator to get A equals 240 centimetres squared. To find the area of the rhombus, we use the formula A equals a half XY. This is where X and Ys are the diagonals. So for our example, we write out our formula A equals a half XY, and we have our diagonals to be 10 metres and 14 metres. So we have A equals a half times 10 times 14. When we put this into our calculator, we get that our area equals 70 metres squared. To find the area of the kite, we use the exact same formula for a rhombus, A equals a half XY, where X and Y are our diagonals. So we substitute our, uh, we write out our formula, A equals a half XY, and then we substitute in our diagonals of 19 and 7. So we get A equals a half times 19 times 7. We put this into our calculator to get an area of 66.5 metres squared. To find the area of a circle, we use the formula A equals pi r squared. This is where r stands for the radius. To find the area of the circle to one decimal place, what we have to do is write out our formula A equals pi r squared and then substitute in our radius. So A will equal pi times 6 squared. We put this into our calculator and we get A equals 113.0973355 centimetres squared. However, the question asks to round to one decimal place, so our answer is A equals 113.1 centimetres squared.
To find the area of a semicircle, we use the formula a equals a half pi r squared. This is where r equals the radius. The relationship between the semicircle formula and a circle formula is that it's just the half out the front because a semicircle is half of a circle. To find the area of the semicircle for two decimal places in our example, we write out a formula a equals a half pi r squared. We then substitute in our radius of 11, so we have a equals a half times pi times 11 squared. We put this in our calculator and we get a equals 190.066355 and then we round to two decimal places. So we get a equals 190.07 centimetres squared. For the area of a sector, we use the formula A equals theta over 360 pi r squared. This is where theta stands for the angle and r stands for the radius. So to find the area of a sector to one decimal place, we write out our formula A equals theta over 360 times pi r squared. We substitute in our angle of 250. Uh, 205 sorry and our radius of 7 so we have a equals 205 over 360 times pi times 7 squared we put this into our calculator and we get a equals 87.6591616 and then we round this to one decimal place to get 87.7 meters squared now we can also find the area of composite shapes by splitting the shape up into smaller familiar shapes and either adding or subtracting the areas together. So for our example, we have an L shape here. It's one of the most traditional co composite shapes, and we want to find the area of this L shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this up into two different rectangles. Now, before we find the area of these two different rectangles, we are going to need to know some of the other lengths. So we can notice that we know the top length of 6 and the other top length. So we have this top length up here is 6 and this length here is 4. So to find the whole length along here, it would be 10 metres. So we add the two together. Then we have that this whole length here is 12 and this little length here is 5. So we want to find this length here and that length will be 12 minus 5, which is 7. So now that we know all of the dimensions, we want to find area 1 and area 2 and then to find the total area we add them together. So our formula for finding um, the area of composite shapes is the total area equals area 1 plus area 2 and so area 1 is a rectangle and so it's L times B. So area 1 equals 12 times 6 as that is the dimensions of the rectangle which equals 72 meters squared. For area 2 it's also a rectangle so it's L times B so area 2 equals 4 times 5, so that is 20 metres squared. So to find the total area, we add the two together. So 72 metres squared plus 20 metres squared gives us a total area of 92 metres squared.